This is a Sage Story. My name is Harry Rosenberg. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And the question is, when did I know I was gay? It was pretty late. Not until I was in college. Until then, I thought I was pretty much like everybody else. I liked girls. I was friendly with boys. In high school, I dated and I had a girlfriend. I really did not think about romantic or sexual relationships with guys. I was doing just what my classmates did or what I thought my classmates did. It wasn't until I got to college that I started being really attracted to men and that I started having anxiety about uh, my attraction to men. It was a stressful time for me. The university curriculum was challenging and I had a lot of questions about the career path that I had chosen. And on top of that, I was confused about my sexual orientation. I was dating women, but more and more I was thinking about men. In my sophomore year, I was told about a bar near the university reputed to cater to gay men. One night after finishing my homework, I went to that bar and I picked up a guy. We had a sexual encounter that filled me full of self-hatred. When I returned to the dormitory, apparently looking very upset, my roommate asked me if something was the matter, and I just shrugged my shoulders. I was confused, I was upset, and I became depressed and even suicidal. But I continued with college and with my confusion. In my junior year in college, all my doubts and concerns came to a head. I had a mental health crisis that led to my going to the University Health Service, which referred me to a psychiatrist. The school psychiatrist called my father and asked him to come to the university for a conference. At the conference, the psychiatrist said there was something wrong with me. The psychiatrist characterized my problem as arrested development. Well, in those days, one must remember that homosexuality was regarded as a mental illness. My poor dad, having heard the diagnosis, must have wondered what he and mom did to screw me up. What I really needed was not psychotherapy. I really needed hugs, I needed affection, and I needed affirmation. I got none of that. But I was able to dutifully complete my classes, two years later to graduate from college, then graduate school, I got married, had children, and a professional career. Was I attracted to men? Yes. Would I do anything about it? No. To counter my depression, I learned that running could help, and I began to run. All the while, hidden from the world were my feelings of attraction to men, until about 50 years later when I finally came out. In retrospect, any gay man observing me as a young child would have said, there's a little queen in the making. Why? As a child, I loved to play with paper dolls. I designed women's shoes. I took dancing lessons as the only boy in the class. And at Boy Scout camp, much later, I told another camper, quite innocently, how attractive I thought his hairy arms were. He couldn't stop blushing. One of the problems was that in my youth, I had no role models. I had no vocabulary for my feelings. I ha if I had had the support then, I might have come out. Who knows? But I did not until much later. Share your story at sageusa.org backslash sagestory.